In this lesson, we will discuss how to install the data ONTAP simulator. We have to download the data ONTAP simulator from the NetApp website. This software is helpful when you need to practice using the NetApp filer. First, we have to register with the NetApp website. After registration, we have to log in and download the simulator. On the website, we can register and we can get both the data ONTAP Edge and the VMware Sphere trial versions. I have already downloaded the simulator. Now let's look at how to install the NetApp simulator on a VMware workstation. This is the data ONTAP version 8, which I have downloaded from the NetApp website. We will need to extract the files. So, we have successfully extracted the files. Now we have to open this file from the VMware workstation. To do this, we must go to VMware and click on Open. From here, we need to select the VMware file, Data on Tap 8 version. This is the Data on Tap VMware workstation file. Now, click on that file and it will create a new virtual machine on the VMware workstation. After that, select Power on this virtual machine. Press Control C for the initial setup. Here, we need to select the fourth option. It will install a new configuration and initialize all the disks of this NetApp data on tap version. Here, it will ask whether we need to zero the disks. Disk zeroing will be discussed in future sessions. Press Y to continue. It will erase all the data on the disks. Press Y to continue. Now it will reboot the data on tap. After the reboot, there is no need to press Control C. The process of zeroing the disk is happening now. Again, we will discuss the zeroing of disks and the reboot process of data on tap in future sessions. After you register with NetApp, you will receive the license in the mail. Press Control C to quit the DHCP setup. Here, we have to enter the host name for the NetApp filer. The host name I have chosen is Filer. And press Enter. Later, it will ask us if we want to configure interface groups. We will discuss interface groups in future sessions. Press Enter. It will ask the IP address for the E0A. The IP address that I'm entering is 192.168.80.20 and press Enter. And press Enter again. And again, and press enter again to proceed further. Next, it will ask us, do you want E0A to support jumbo disks? We are not going to use jumbo disks, so just press enter. It will then ask us for the IP address for the E0B. The address I'm using is 192.168.80.21 and press enter. And again, press enter. And enter once again.
Then it will ask for the IP address for E0C. I'm not using an IP address for E0C. We will discuss how to add IP addresses for additional interfaces of the NetApp filer in future sessions. Press Enter. And press Enter again. It will then ask us, would you like to continue setup through the web interface? There is no need to use the web interface, so just press enter to continue. It will then ask for the IP address of the default gateway, which we will need to specify. The gateway IP address is 192.168.80.1 and press enter. It will then ask the IP address of the administration host. We can manage the NetApp filer from the administration host only. The IP address that I'm using is 192.167.80.10 and press enter. It will then ask for a time zone. I have chosen to use GMT for this particular filer. Press Enter. It will then ask where the filer is located. I have chosen its location as London. And press Enter to continue. Here, we are not using any DNS resolver, so press Enter to continue. It will then ask about the NIS client, which we are not using. So press Enter. And press Enter again. Now it will ask for a password. After giving the password, press Enter to continue. And you will have to re-enter the password. And press Enter. Later on, it will set up the administrative root password on this filer. So, we have successfully installed the data on tap for the VMware workstation. Here, we have to give the password to enter the filer. We have now successfully logged into the filer. From now on, we are able to log into this filer from PuTTY. We have now installed the data on tap version on the VMware workstation. In this lesson, we have discussed how to install the data on tap version on the VMware workstation. In the next lesson, we will discuss protocols. Thank you.